Good evening, Lucy Sosma. We're at PBD Veterans Memorial High School, where the PBD High School boys take on Winthrop. PBD coming in here with a 9-6 and six record. They need a victory tonight uh, to qualify for the tournament. And uh, Winthrop's coming in here 6-9. and nine. They both played uh, pretty much the same teams uh, throughout the year, and uh, their re records are identical almost as far as uh, win and losses in, in that area. Uh, Winthrop did pick up three more losses on the way. But uh, PBD coming in here needing, needing the victory, and it's a big night tonight for PBD because it's uh, senior night, and uh, we have the senior cheerleaders and the chain of players coming. There's 15 all together, and we have uh, Patty, Tansy. Patty Tansy coming in here to help us announce with the girls. Uh, and uh, are they coming up here to help? Uh, and and. Pat and Pat Regal will be doing the game with me, uh, doing the color. And uh, here, here is Pat now for a few words, maybe a, a few seniors tonight, right? Yes, we have seven senior boys tonight and three cheerleaders, Lou. First, they're going to give us the start of the lineup, I guess, and then we'll get into the senior night facilities. This is a big game for uh, both teams because uh, they both want to try and get up and make that tournament. But uh, it, it looks like PBD's in the driver's seat right now, getting their tenth win maybe tonight. I think so. I hope they get there. I hope so. Now your son is well out hurt uh, the last few games. Uh, how how's he doing? Good. He got his cast off last week, and he's now doing physical therapy. So we'll see what happens in the next week or so. Okay, that's very good. And that's Mike Tansy. Okay, we have Katie DuPont with Tammy and Ed Jones. And it looks like her brother coming out also. Next, we have Michaela Faris with T Tanya and Anthony Faris. Next, we have Victoria Pereira with Afra and Louise Pereira. And it looks like her sister's coming out also. We have Adrian Medrano with his mom, Alicia Pena, and two of his little brothers are coming out. Now we have Captain Marcus Barker with his dad, Jared Dupuy, and Catherine Barnard. Next, we have Captain Jake Gustin with his mother, Joy Gustin, and his brother, Josh Gustin. Next is Captain Jake Irvine with Steve and Marie Irvine and also his brother Ben Irvine. 
Oh. Oops, we went out of order. I'm sorry. We have Pasha Maidan with Mariana DePina and William Webb. We missed, we missed Jake Irvine. I don't know. We have John L. Espinal next with Lituania Garcia, his sister Joslia Espinal, and brother Jose Espinal. He had a pretty good football year too, right? He did, yes. Next, we have Avian Hernandez with Indira and Dalin Hernandez. And it looks like maybe his two brothers also. Okay, now we have Captain Jake Irvine with Steve and Marie Irvine and his brother Ben Irvine. And that's it for the seniors. Congratulations, seniors. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Okay, now we're ready for the national anthem and the starting lineup. Well, one trip, number 14, Alex Rinna. Number 21, Hosfa. Number 22, McKenzie. And he's a tall fellow, that's number center. And here's for Peabody. Number two, Jake Gustin. And number one, Evan Hernandez. And number four, Jake Irvine. And now, uh, National Anthem by M Maddie Hanson. Great job by Maddie Hansen. Good job, huh, Pat? Hey, great job, great job. 
Well, we should see a pretty good ball game tonight, and Peabody needs this game for the tournament. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have working hard. The seniors are out there tonight. Their family's here, so let's make it a good night. Right. All the families are here because of senior night, which is a big night for them. And uh, Peabody coming in here 9-6, and six, I believe. And uh, they have a, a good shot to, to get more than uh, just 10 victories. I, I don't know how many games left. Do they know how many games they have left, uh, Pat? I want to say three, possibly three. Yeah. If they can win them all, they'll be in good shape for the tournament. Yes, they will be. I think the, uh, the coach is doing a great job, and the kids are working hard, so let's just make this a win tonight. Here's the tap, and uh, Winthrop, Winthrop gets the top. Okay, PB pressing that defense, but right up in the court, way up in his miss, and a jump ball to start, and it'll be PBD's possession. Gustin, they're going in for the layup, it doesn't go, and Winthrop comes down with the rebound, but there'll be a quick foul. Number 34, uh, Elliot Frank uh, is uh, the tall center. He's a big boy, Pat. He certainly is. He's going to give us a run for our money tonight. way outside and doesn't go and they get the rebound and come in for a layup but it goes out of bounds. That was Washington going in there for the layup. They, a screen by the big guy and going in for the layup and there's going to be a travel. So PB will take over on the possession call. Hernandez into Gustin. Way outside. Nobody underneath the boards for Peabody, all Winthrop players. And he lays it up and in. Here they come down the court, five on one. And it doesn't go, but the tap in goes in. That's his second basket quickly. Winter pick, pulls off to a four to nothing lead. Outside. PB gets the rebound, and now Winthrop seals it. Outside for three, and it goes. So Winthrop pulls away to a quick 7-0 uh, lead, and you mentioned about the Winthrop team. Yes, apparently we do have 11 seniors tonight for the Winthrop team, so good luck to their families and all the seniors that will be heading off to school. So Peabody getting off to a slow start here. They've taken three shots and uh, nothing has gone in for them yet. So it's been easy scoring. Looks like there might be a little change in the lineup here, folks. We'll just uh, stand by, we'll give you another lineup. Yeah, they, they started with the seniors, so it is in their st uh, starting line. Madero, number 21, is in there, and uh, we'll see who comes out. Oh, 
Cole's out there. Chris Kanawha. Jake. Augustin brings the ball up to Quinella. Irvine. And it's blocked. Augustin went in for the layup and it was blocked. A nice block. The only height Winter has is the big center. And he he towers over everybody. That's uh Elliot Frank. Yeah, that Elliot Frank's having a really good first quarter here. The first one. That's the first PBD vote. Some right? Oh, zero. A little bit of shot. Outside, 21, way for a long shot. Doesn't go. Nice rebound by... Mendes. Jake Irvine. Mendes way out. Out. <laughs> Seven to four. People are getting back in the ball game. and Hernandez gets the rebound. Outside. Around the horn they go. Washington, Washington way outside. Looking for the big man in the middle. And they, out of bounds, they throw it out of bounds. PB possession. Custon. Irvine way outside. Parker. Parker. Doesn't go, rebound. Again, all black shirts under the boards to get that rebound. McKenzie and he throws it away but it's tipped by Irvine. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Outside. Doesn't go, Hernandez another rebound. Long pass to Canella. Gustin. <laughs> Gustin puts it away. Seven to six. Full court press for the Tanners, and they're gonna throw it into the big guy, and he has to throw it outside again. And that goes in there. Nine to six, one triple leads. Jake Irvine. Doesn't go. In the corner. All set to shoot and he thought better of it. Washington away outside. Back to the corner. And that goes for three. Twelve to six. Uh, Winthrop pulls away again. Winthrop ball out of bounds. Two fifteen left of the first quarter. Way outside. And that goes for three. So 
So uh, it's a different first quarter. Yeah, looks like Pee Wee's going to have to step up on that defense. Uh, they're taking some big threes there, Winthrop team. Uh, it's just the opposite. Pee Wee is not hitting their outside shot yet. But I thought they'd be trying to feed the big guy in the middle, but so far they haven't. Just once they've tried it and it didn't work. Yeah, that is correct. It looks like we're just going to be taking some more threes and uh, keep on plugging away at this. We should be all set. 15 to 6. Winthrop leads by nine. With other than two minutes left in the quarter. Six. Six, right, yeah. I thought a circle, if he hits one, exit the middle, he hits the ball. Oh, nice block by... Canelo was looking for the foul. Oh, that's a back court. You know. That's a good hustle. Way outside again, doesn't go. Gustin with the rebound. Irvine, back to Gustin. To Canella, back to Barker, back to Gustin. Peabody really moving that ball around. Irvine hits a three outside. Blocked pass and no. Now it's blocked. And in this to Canella. Canella. It doesn't go. He gets to Hernandez. Get the rebound. Gustin, five, three, and it goes. Fifteen to twelve. Tanner's coming back. Drive into the basket, he gets fouled. That's Washington. He'd be going the line for two shots. So the first uh, foul on Quinella. And Quinella uh, stays out of foul trouble so far. He missed the first. Grant comes out, the big guy comes out for Peabody. Number 15, Joey O'Neill just stepped onto the court for Peabody. And he's a spark off the bench too. And the second one goes. Well, we have Joey O'Neill bringing the ball up now. Back to Jake Irvin. Winthrop's really stacking up their defense here, but Offensively, I think we've got this now. We've figured it all out. Jake Irvin with the ball to Hernandez. Hernandez drives to the hoop. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Winthrop 16, PVD 12. We'll be right back with first quarter stats.
Okay, first quarter scoring. First quarter scoring is Gustin has six, Hernandez has three, and Jake Irvine has three for a total of 12 points for Peabody. Okay, Winthrop gets the ball, brings it back in. Lions in the corner. Sullivan in the corner again for that three, and it doesn't go. Here's Hernandez, nice layup and in. Hernandez gets two. Almost a steal by the 10. It's way outside again. It doesn't go. Kick ball. And it'll be Winthrop's ball out of bounds. Diaz is the number three in for Winthrop now. Oh, there'll be a foul. That was a lousy foul to take. So early in the game. Yeah, Hernandez just made a great defensive mode. I mean, they just called the other team for a foul. Yeah, and he, he's really fast. PB's defense has done such a great job this year. They're really working hard. And there's an, another three. So, so far they've gotten three threes. They're okay, here comes the Tanners up court. O'Neal. Cornella. Cornella and Hernandez. Outside. Doesn't go. Wedgwood with a rebound. Way outside. And it doesn't go. Nice tip by him. Jack to Barker. Barker. And he gets fouled. Mark will be going the line for two. 19-14, PBD trails. First one is good. <laughs> Nineteen fifty. Elliot Frank, number thirty-four for Winthrop is back in. He's the big guy. Second one doesn't go. Frank just tips the ball to his other guy there. Oh. And that was an easy one. Gustin, O'Neal, O'Neal, in the corner. Parker. Oh, and it drops in. Parker. 21-17, PBD trails. Doesn't go, oh, the big guy. He tips it in. Elliot Frank. Puts Winthrop right back up, 23-17. Barker, and it goes. A three. Winthrop got plenty of speed as they try and drive to the basket all the time. And it's intercepted, and here he comes. Canelo to the hoop. Canelo. Oh, and it's a kick ball, be Winthrop's ball. It hits uh, Quinello's, uh, Quinello's foot going out.
Way outside. Nice tip. Jake Irvine. Irvine up and in. 23 22. PBD closing the gap. Full court press by the Tanners. That'd be a travel. PBD really doing a great job coming back to this game, folks. We have uh, Gustin with the ball. Gustin to Hernandez. Hernandez looking. Gets the ball to Jake. And what a great year Jake Irvine's had. Joe O'Neill with the ball. Gets it to Gustin. Gustin goes up. And it's good. Two points. Way outside. Irvine gets a rebound. 24-23. PBD leads by one. Nice play. And it intercepted. Here comes Winthrop. And now a nice layup. Hernandez. O'Neill way outside. Irvine for three, it doesn't go. In the corner, wide open, and it doesn't go. Nice rebound. O'Neill's got plenty of height, and he can get up there. Yeah, that O'Neill kid's really come, up, come, come through for us for Peabody here in the first quarter. Yeah, he comes off the bench. A strong player to come off the bench. The there he goes, and he gets it. O'Neill gets two. 26-25. Oh, that should have been a charge. But it's a basket. Twenty-seven, twenty-six. Winthrop now leads by one. Doesn't go. Rebound by uh, Diaz. Diaz for Winthrop. Way outside. Doesn't go. Now a rebound. Nice rebound. Here comes Canella. In the corner, the other corner now. O'Neill shot. Pulsner gets the rebound and drives. And that doesn't go, and Peabody gets the rebound. Dustin with the ball. Irvine. There's Irvine way outside. Hernandez. PBD slowing down a little bit. O'Neill trying to get something to click inside is Irvine for three. 29-27. PBD leads by two. Driving to the basket. Goes in. So with the timeout, uh, PBD Dow leads. It's 29-29. And what a great comeback for PBD in this first quarter, folks. Oh, a minute left in the first quarter, 29-29 against Winthrop. Those seniors worked their tails off to get that tied game. So keep up the good work, PBD. Right, it's a tough ball game. And, uh, we hope your scoring is all right. So I'd like to remind the viewers the game being brought to you by PBD Access Telecommunication. Adam Hoffman, our cameraman tonight, and doing a good job.
So what do you see so far? Uh, like I said, I'm really impressed with Peabody coming back now and tie game. A minute 20 left in the first quarter. Tie game. O'Neill's got the ball to Irvine. Irvine bringing it up. Winthrop's got a full press on. Hernandez with the ball. And we have... Stepped out of bounds also. So that was the first time the press, and that bothered people a little bit. They didn't know what to do, I think, at first. They had no help in the backcourt. McKenzie. That outside shooter, number 14, he's the shooter for them. Oh, an easy layup, and it goes in. 49 seconds left in the first quarter. O'Neill with the ball. Irvine, Irvine over half court. O'Neill, outside. Canella. Yeah, quite. Full court press by the Tanners again. In the corner once again. Looking to shoot it. They're playing for one shot now at the end of the quarter. Way outside. Be a foul. That'll be against Irvine. Not many team fouls. Four for against uh, Peabody and two for Winthrop. Low, low foul. Yeah, it's been a pretty clean game. First one he misses. It's good now to see a lot of fouls. At least the game isn't one or lost in the foul line. Right. And the second one that goes in. Not many seconds. Quinella. And it goes in. So at the end of the first half, PBD 35, Winthrop 32 on a close scoring first half. We'll be ready back with first half stats and second half action. I just finished dinner and it was time for homework. He hates homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as try hard as I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Just about ready for second half action. Lucas Osmo. Awesome. Adam Hoffman on camera here. PBD leading 36 to 32. And here's the first half scoring for the PBD Tanners. Jake Gustin with eight points. Hernandez with seven. Canelo with six, with two big threes. Uh, Barker with six. O'Neill with two. And the leading scorer right now, uh, Jake Irvine with eight points. So 36-32, PBD leads by four. Pat Rigo will be right back. He had to go on a mission for the boosters. So Peabody gets the ball to bring it in. Irvine brings it in. Jake Gustin. Canella in the corner, outside Hernandez, Hernandez. Oh, just missed. Nice play by Gustin. Winthrop with the ball now. McKenzie outside.
Moving the ball around pretty good. Both teams, good defense. And the layup and in. Canella outside. Way outside. And it goes. Irvine for three. That's good when that shot's on for him. Good coverage by the Tanners. And that drops in there. 36. For a Winthrop PBD 38. Outside. That was Hernandez's three. Tanner's got two threes to start the second half. 41-38. And to be a foul on the floor, I believe. Maybe. <laughs> that drops it. Irvine. He's doing it inside and outside. So the chant is 43. Winthrop 38 and Winthrop calls a timeout. So the Tanner scored eight points to start the second half with two threes. And Irvine got a basket also. Once again, a pretty good crowd and a good student body crowd down there on the left-hand side. And naturally, the cheerleaders are down there under the basket. Senior night in Peabody for the Peabody boys. Winthrop has the ball to bring in. Intercepted nicely. Irvine. So right away in a steal on the turning. Way outside. In and out. Nice rebound by Hernandez. Irvine. Shooting two. First one is good. Marker gets the first one. And he gets a second. 47 to 38. <coughs> Full court press by the Tanners once again. Stolen by the Tanners. Barker comes up with it. Oh, that's a travel. Biggest lead of the game for the Tanners, 47-38. Tanners dropped back a little bit. It's tipped and intercepted. Irvine gets it. 
doesn't go. Nice drive to the basket by Jake Custon. Knocked out of bounds. 19 seconds on the shot clock. McKenzie outside. Up and in. On the outside they go, way outside. Jake doesn't miss too many of them. And he's gonna get fouled, it'll be a blocking foul. Jake Irvine, his first foul. Both teams have stayed out of foul trouble. Peabody has one team foul, Winthrop has two. He gets the first one. <laughs> to Custon to Irvine, driving to the basket, out to Custon again. And he sinks a three. Fifty to forty-one. Tanner's lead by nine now. They lose the ball. And he gets fouled. That's Hernandez. Third team foul on Winthrop. And the second shot is good. Fifty two forty one. PB by eleven. Good defense by the Tanners. The blocking foul on Hernandez. Be a foul on PVD, I believe. Broughton to give the official a hard time on that. <laughs> 54 to 41. Lipskit will bring it in to McKenzie. McKenzie. The big guy is in there now for Winthrop. First appearance of the second half for him.
So we'll see what happens now as Winthrop driving to the basket, up and up and in. I'm going to let uh, Pat Rigo uh, fill in for me for the play-by-play uh, -play play now. I uh, no breath. Okay, well, Peabody's up 54-43 against Winthrop. Offensive really picked it up this half. We got a drive from Winthrop. Back to 13. 22 drives. Great rebound by Jake Irvine. Irvine brings it up. For Dustin, taking off for three. Big rebound by Hernandez to Jake Irvine. Okay, we're moving the ball up. Dustin to Canella. Canella and Hernandez. Canella for three. Yep, rebound. Hernandez. And two. One minute left in the third quarter, 56-43. PB's put on a press right now. Defense has been really great this year. Yeah, oh, they called a foul on Peabody. It was, it was a great press. Forty-six seconds left. Peabody fifty-six. Winthrop forty-three. Winthrop's got the ball. Winthrop almost loses the ball out of bounds. Peabody's defense. Steal by Gustin. Gustin for the layup. Oh, Winthrop's got the ball. And a great rebound by Buxton. To Canella. Hernandez. We have 11 seconds left. Peabody has the ball. It's five, four. Jake Irvine for three. Well, what a great quarter that is. Yeah, you missed a great quarter. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll be right back with three quarter stats. All right, we're all set. Here's the uh, total score for the ball game so far. Jake Gustin with 13 points. Jake Irvine with 15. Hernandez with 16. Barker with eight. O'Neill with two. Uh, pretty good scoring so far for the Taylors. 56 points, and they're gonna get up to you on the scoring problem. Yeah, like we said, second half, PB really stepped up their offense. Has taken a pretty good lead of nine points. I missed Canelo with six. Canelo had six points. Okay. Total. Yep, and now again, Chris has had a great second half here, hitting all of his shots. We're up 56 to 43, beginning of the fourth quarter. Winthrop with the ball. Winthrop's had a pretty good game tonight. They have the ball here in the fourth quarter. Oh, missed pass, out of bounds, Winthrop. Peabody's ball with 7.49 left in the game. That isn't the way they wanted to start the second, the second, uh, the fourth quarter. They started the second half like that also. We got a Hernandez with the ball. Hernandez takes it in for a layup. Rebound, 
It's still going. Up. And Winthrop's got the ball. PB's defense has really been a great asset to the team. Yeah, we got a foul on Irvine. That's the 15th foul for the Tanners. Winthrop has three. 724 left in the game. 56 Peabody, 43 Winthrop. 22 for Winthrop hits his first foul shot. Winthrop, second foul shot he hits. Okay, we have Hernandez with the ball. Hernandez moving the ball up. Winthrop's put the press on him. Back to Gustin, to Canella, to Baxter. Baker, Baker's taking it to the hoop, and in. He gets fouled, taking it in. What a great drive by Baker. That was a great save by Irvine, and, and the pass it back in the corner, it was great. Yeah, these guys are really moving their feet to the ball. Really proud of this PBD team. Great hustle. Parker takes that first shot. Parker runs in to get his rebound. Went to put the ball. Moving up court. Out to the three, out to the six. Peabody's defense really stepping it up here. Nothing's penetrating this Peabody defense. What a great defensive. Winthrop moving the ball around. Peabody shuffling their feet, hands up. Peabody getting rebounds. Peabody ends up with the ball with Gustin. Gustin to Canal. Back to Gustin. Out to Barker. Parker taking it in, passes it off to Canelo for a layup. Canelo gets foul. Canelo is still up there in the scoring. Uh, I know he was hurt the last uh, two games, a little bit hurting and not doing much shooting. But uh, he's right up there in the leading score. He's about the sixth or seventh leader scoring. Yeah, Chris has had a fantastic year this year for the PBD Tanners. We're very proud of him. Second foul shot. Swish. Chris Canella. One out of two. One out of two. Went up with the ball. Now PB's got a full press on here. PB pressing. Went up. PB really pressing hard. Went up with the ball. 22 takes a three. Gustin with the ball to Canella. Canella doing a fast break. Oh, Winthrop ended up with the ball. Winthrop moving up the court now. Pass, taking it in. Ooh, and miss. Big rebound. 57 PBD, 47 Winthrop. 5.23 left in the game. Hernandez with a big basket. Peabody put the press on. Peabody with the ball. We have some turnovers here, folks. Hernandez taking a three. Went up with the ball. Went up, passes the ball up. Moving on court. Jake Irvine putting some great defense on. Gustin with the rebound. Gustin has the ball. Gustin bringing it up the court. Passes it back to Irvine. To Hernandez. Back to Gus. Back to Irvine. Irvine gets to Gustin. Gustin taking it in, takes a three. Big shot, oh! Well, 4.57 left in the fourth quarter. 59 PBD, 47 Winthrop. Winthrop with the ball. PBD putting on a full press here in the fourth quarter. Winthrop takes a three. PBD, Winthrop rebounds and it gets two. Peabody bringing it up to Gustin. 
Hernandez got the ball. Hernandez is breaking through. Gets the ball to Barker. Canales got the ball. Chris D'Augustin. Canelo with the ball. Hernandez with the ball. Dr. Canelo. Canelo taking a hoop. Oh, in and out there. Great job on the defense again, Peabody. Uh, looks like uh, it's on Jake Irvine. Uh, Winthrop was hitting those three poises in the, the first half. They're not, they're not going in for them right now. Yeah, it does look like they slowed down a little with uh, Winthrop's hitting those threes. I think uh, Peabody just stepped up a little man-to-man -man and kept this this game going. Again, Peabody 59, Winthrop 49. Peabody with 4.14 left in the game. We got uh, Joey O'Neill coming in for Chris Canella. Yeah, I don't think Chris is still up to par right now. Hernandez got the ball. Well, it's good to give Chris a rest out there. He's giving all his heart and soul into these games. Taking it to a different level for us. It's good to have that rest out there and getting Joey in right now. Gustin with the ball. Gustin taking the hoop. He gets fouled. Charging foul on Peabody. And with correction, there was a charge and foul on Peabody. Winthrop with the ball. Peabody up by 10. 59-49. Winthrop takes it in, takes it in, and gets a do. Winthrop calls a timeout. And uh, Peabody's scoring has been cut down in this fourth quarter. They, they only have uh, three points. Oh. Well, Winthrop's got this timeout here. 59 Peabody. 51 Winthrop, five minutes left in the game. Yeah, I think they're gonna have to pick up their offense here, PB, to maintain this lead. The second half's been all PB. That's the second game in a row. Last night PB had Revere, and tonight it's Winthrop. Right, and that was a big victory uh, over there at Revere, which is a tough team, really. Yeah, Peabody scored over 80 points last night against Revere. Um, take our hats off to all the offense and defensive plays last night. Great job, guys. Keep going, Tanners. Well, I don't know how many times we've mentioned it, to the, especially to the coach. You need more than 10 wins to get a decent seed up there. If, if not, you're gonna play the, the best team in the state. That's right, and the, and the Tanners have worked, and the coach have worked really hard on this season and uh, coming up with a pretty good conclusion. Okay, we have Peabody Ball with three minutes and 46 seconds left. Peabody up 59, Winthrop 51. Peabody's got the ball. Peabody throws it in. Winthrop puts a press on. Winthrop steals the ball with a press. Winthrop with the ball. Went three. Went up with a miss. Peabody, great rebound by Baker. Barker's got a great rebound. Joe O'Neill jumps in and grabs the ball. Jake Irvine with the ball. Jake Irvine to the ground. Peabody, coach, call the Peabody timeout. coach calls a timeout with 326 left in the game. 59 Peabody, 51 Winthrop. Well, we still got a nail by the here, 59-51, and Winthrop's starting to show some uh, life in this fourth quarter. Yeah, let's really try to control the time here. Um, we have a couple more possessions here. We can run that clock down. Winthrop with that full press. I think the Tanners will be in pretty good shape. 59 Peabody Tanners, 51 Winthrop. Special thanks to all the cheerleaders out there today and their family members. Great job, girls, on cheering for the rooting for the team. We know you put a lot of effort and time into that, so great job with all those cheerleaders and the seniors and their families. 
All right, Peabody's throwing the ball, and here are three minutes and 26 seconds left. We're up by eight, 59-51. Irvine throwing the ball, and Joe O'Neill with the ball. Joe to Gustin. Gustin to Irvine. Irvine going up, back to Gustin. In a lap. In one. Oh, what great ball movement from Peabody right there. Winthrop was just standing around. Gustin to the line. 61-51, Peabody. Three minutes, 18 seconds left. Gustin with the three flow. All right, Winthrop's got the ball. Winthrop bringing the ball up. Winthrop's looking for a three, I would think. Really moving the ball around. Peabody's defense is just phenomenal, folks. Once again, they're shuffling their feet and moving around. Hernandez with the ball, Peabody. Peabody back to Jake Irvine. Irvine bringing the ball up. Irvine on the hill. On the hill back to Irvine. Back to Gustin. Back to Hernandez. Hernandez with the ball. 2.41 left in the game. Peabody 61 with the 51. Gustin with the ball. Irvine with the ball. Irvine working it, working it, taking it. Great pass to back. Baker, Baker takes it up. Way up, O'Neal. Ooh, steps out. Minutes left. Peabody has the, Peabody with the ball. Oh, looks like there's a. Time out by the uh, Winthrop coach. He really challenged that, uh, a call that time. All right, a little correction on the court. Um, so we got Peabody's ball. Two minutes and 23 seconds left. Peabody up 61. Winthrop 51. Baca throwing the ball in. Peabody moving around. Gustin with the ball. Gustin fouled. Yeah, Winthrop's really trying to get that ball and that possession back. Yeah, uh, Winthrop's in the over six of the foul shooting, so it'll be a one on one situation. PBD also is in the same situation. They have 17 fouls. Yep, and PB's doing a great job handling that ball and controlling the clock down to the end of this game here, keeping our possessions going. Gustin takes the foul shot with a miss. PBD's defense. Winthrop has the ball. Winthrop moving the ball around, trying to get a three off. Peabody with great defense. Peabody holding him. Peabody stopping him. Peabody calls a jump ball. Jake Irvine, what a great defensive play towards the two minutes left in this game. Peabody up 21. Winthrop 51. Peabody with the ball. Two minutes and five seconds left. Peabody throws it in. Gustin brings it up the side of the court. Gustin back to Barker. Jake Irvine using the clock now, using the, running the clock down. Yeah, Peabody doing a great job running that clock down. To O'Neill, Irvine for three! What a great job by Irvine. Peabody, what a great job by passing that ball around and keeping that offensive moving. Really great job on Peabody's end. Okay, 64 to 51. Under two minutes to go in the game. PBD 64, winter 51. Well, the new court here at the PBD High School really turned out to be a really... It's really great. Everyone comments on it. Everyone looks at it. and They, they can't believe it. And the, the, the second biggest thing is the lighting. The lighting is just great. All new lighting. Yep. Did a great job the city of PBD done to get this brand spanking new basketball court for the PBD Tanners. All right, so we have PBD 64, Winthrop 51. Well, where do we go from here, Pat? Where's our next game? What? We don't have the schedule near the line. It's sometime next week, probably. Yeah, I know we have Essex Tech and another team coming up. Yeah. All right, we had a minute 44 left. 
Peabody 64, Winter 51. Winter put the ball with a minute 44 left. Peabody with a full press. Winter throwing the ball in. Winter throws the ball in. Peabody puts on a full press here. O'Neill, O'Neill defending. Parker, Peabody. Winter throws. Winter got a quick two here. Peabody with the ball. Peabody to Gustin. Gustin bringing it up to Cole with a minute 28 left. Back to Barker. Barker's got the ball back to Jake Irvine. Irvine with the ball, running that clock down. Gets double teamed. Back to Barker. Gustin wide open. Gustin back to Barker. Barker to Jake Irvine. Minute 12 left. Hernandez. Hernandez with the ball. Back to Barker. Barker to Joey O'Neill. Back to Barker. Shot clock says shoot. Oh, well, we got, we got a travel in there, but great ball movement. Way to run that clock down. I think it's a win-win either way. A minute, a minute left. Yes, we have a minute left in the game. PBD 64, Winthrop 53. We got a full press here with a minute left. Winthrop with the ball. PBD pressing. Winthrop with the ball. PBD pressing. Oh, we got a travel call here against Winthrop with 50 seconds left. Now they really use the clock. They use the whole 34 second clock. 30 yeah. Seconds. Great job on Peabody's defense running that clock down, getting that possession back. Great job, Peabody Tanners. All right, Gustin with the, with the ball. 47 seconds left. Jake Irvine with it. Double teamed. All right, it looks like we have a call here, folks. And again, 42 seconds left. PBD 64, Winthrop 53. It's going to be a foul call there. That's what the other official came in and saw it. And it's going to, I believe it's going to be against Winthrop. So Jake Irvine's going to line for one and one. What a great game for Jake Irvine tonight here, folks. This PBD team really, second half, pulled this, this game out. So Irvine's at the line. All right, Irvine at the line. 42 seconds left in the game. PBD 64, Winthrop 53. Jake with his first shot. Swish! What a great season that Jake Irvine's had. All right, Jake with his second shot. And swish! Two huge points for Jake here with 42 seconds left. All right, Peabody with the full press. Winthrop because that ball. Peabody pressing. Peabody pressing still. Winthrop looking for a shot. Peabody pressing. Ooh, sky hook by Winthrop. 22. 66. 55. 34 seconds left here at the Peabody Veterans Memorial High School. The Tanners are up. Yeah, Winthrop calls a timeout, and uh, they have 11 points to make up with uh, 55 seconds. So they need a miracle to do something here. Yeah, it looks like Peabody might just take this game away, folks. All that hard work paid off for that second half. Uh, Winthrop just couldn't get by the PBD defense. The defense has always been stepping it up all season, so I tip my hat off to the PBD Tanner's defense. Great job, fellas. Okay, we're still here at PBD Veteran Memorial High School. Tanner's 66, Winthrop 55. That's a timeout with 42 seconds left in the game. Right, and it's senior night here. We want to congratulate all the seniors, the senior cheerleaders. There's three of them there, and uh, the, the senior boys. There was 15 total. Yeah, special thanks to all those parents out there, cheerleaders and all the seniors, and all the cheerleaders, seniors, and everybody. Everybody's done such a great job here tonight. Great work. Okay, we got 34 seconds left. Peabody 66, Winton 55. Peabody's got the ball. I believe we're going to throw it in. We throw it in. Jake Irvine with the ball. Double teamed. Parker. Parker's foul. 29 seconds left. We got a foul on Winthrop. Peabody will go to the foul shot. Yep, 29 seconds left. Peabody 66. Winthrop 55. Parker's two for five from top foul line so far. And he's got another shot here. Alrighty, Bach is two for five right now. He hits, ooh, swish. 
67-55, 29 seconds left. Bach with the foul shot. Swish, great shooting by Bacher. What a great season he has. Great hustle, great job, boys. O'Neill, defense. Went up with the ball, 23 seconds left. Peabody, great, great defense. Three full rebound. Winthrop's ball. Winthrop's ball. Well, great defense once again for Peabody Tanners against this Winthrop team in this second half. Winthrop with the ball. Winthrop trying to drive to the hoop. Looking for a three. They shoot it. Miss. Hernandez got the ball. Back to Gustin. Four, three, two, one. Peabody Tanners win 68. Winthrop 55. Have a great night. So here's the uh, total score for the PBD Tanners. Jake Gustin with 17 points. Uh, Hernandez with 20. Canelo with seven, way below his average. Uh, Barker with 10, O'Neill with two, and the leading scorer, Jake Irvine with 24. So uh, for uh, Pat Regal, I want to thank you for joining me and giving me a hand tonight. I'm getting kind of hoarse and uh, over the hill for this stuff. Well, glad to be here, and it's a great win for Peabody. Good night, folks. And I want to also thank uh, Adam Hoffman for the great camera work tonight. Lucas Sosmo, wishing you all a good night. Thank you for watching.